right? Meanwhile, you have Karnataka's former BJP minister, Ishwarappa, who's yet again reiterated he's all set and ready to fight polls in Shimoga as an independent candidate against B.S. Yadurappa's son, B.Y. Raghavendra. He says that he will start Desh Bhakt Association in Shimoga and says he's doing this only because he wants to highlight uh, the uh, the uh, injustice that has been done by B.S. Yadurappa's family. He says that B.S. Yadurappa's son gets a ticket uh, again from Shimoga and his uh, other son Vijendra is the president of the BJP in Karnataka and this family is holding power. He's unhappy with it. In fact, Ishwarappa's own son Kantesh, we believe, was denied a ticket. He was assured one and denied one from Haveri and since then Ishwarappa has turned bitter. He has been uh, slamming the BJP leadership, particularly B.S. Yadurappa and his family itself. Uh, he says he wants to work for the larger cause of the party, of the BJP, and will now start an, an association in Shimoga called the Desh Bhakt Association, where he will fight for the country and, and, and come up with uh, policies benefiting the country at large, but will not bow down to family, B.S. Yadurappa's family and their politics. Here's what he said, assuring that he's going to be fighting as an independent candidate this Lok Sabha from Shimoga. The state organization people are, are very much unhappy regarding the attitude of Yadurappa and Raghavendra and Vijendra. So, this type of attitude definitely Central Bharti Janta Party will not accept. That is why all these things are discussing is going on here. So, after this election, definitely Vijendra will uh, resign. Definitely. All right, let me cut across to Nagarjun Dwarkana joining us for more on that. Nagarjun, one blow after the other that Ishwarappa is giving through his reactions to the media, he's asserting. In fact, there was uh, there were attempts to try and pacify him by the BJP leadership, but it seems like he's going the, the whole hog. Will and He's promised that he's going to be fighting B.Y. Raghavendra from Shimoga as an independent candidate. So that, does that mean he's quit the BJP? What more do we know? Has there been a reaction from B.S. Yadirappa and family? Neither has Ishwarappa quit the party or the party has not suspended Ishwarappa also. Uh, both are uh, looking for what will happen in the next uh, one week because both sides are trying to negotiate what next can be given from the party and what next can Ishwarappa do for the party is what the negotiations are. The, the strings are still there. They have not cut off the strings completely. They have not, been, they have not suspended Ishwarappa. But today Ishwarappa has said that uh, he will contest independent in the Lok Sabha of Shumagha seat and also the party or the organization that work for him is called Deshabhakta Association in Canada, Deshabhaktara Balaga, which means the Friends of uh, Patriots is what in the name of the organization that he would fight the election. And also on the 28th in, uh, in Shumoga, there will be an office opening where the like-minded Patriots, so to say in quotation mark, will come join him and support him in this election. Right, so as, as per your words, there's not been any attempt though by the BJP senior leadership or the state lead leadership to pacify him in that case. Well, uh, the calls have been uh, to and fro from uh, both High Command and the state to Ishwar Appa, but nothing has needed a result. Radha Mohan Agarwal, the election in charge for Karnataka from the BJP, also visited Shumoga and visited his residence. But unfortunately, no results have come out uh, even after negotiations. Right. Nagarjun, thanks very much.